Happy New Year, everybody! Welcome to 2022. For those of you who don't know, October 1st was the beginning of the 2022 fiscal year for the United States of America. And that means that, uh, you know, there's a new budget and we've got these big spending bills coming. And we have also run into the debt ceiling. And the debts, you know, the, the, they're threatening to, there's all, always this threat of potentially shutting down the government and it gets real scary. Ooh, we could default on our debt. Well, guess what? They've done this 78 times in the past. It is just like business as usual, actually. Uh, so to understand the debt ceiling, uh, take a look. There's a, a section that we took out of episode four of Hidden Secrets of Money. So it's only two minutes long, this video. But why the debt ceiling is impossible. Uh, take a look at it. And you know what? Debt is a pit that you're digging in front of you. It is not a positive, it is a negative. We're going deep in debt. Uh, so it isn't really a ceiling. It's a, it's a fictitious floor on a bottomless pit. That's what it is. So um, uh, Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen trashes minting a trillion dollar coin. This is the dumbest idea in the world. And uh, people have talked about this. Oh, this is how we could get out of debt. We just start minting these trillion, and they're not going to stop at one of them. I mean, this is a, a, a little stopgap band-aid, uh, but if they minted trillion dollar coins, they would uh, keep on minting them. And when, once they discover that they can just spend and spend and spend, uh, the, the government will just mint whatever it needs so that they can spend whatever they want. But if you go down into the text in this article, it says that the Nobel Prize winning economist Paul Krugman uh, tweeted that, that extraordinary times call for extraordinary gimmicks. <laughs> you know, I knew he was wearing clown shoes, but now we can add a rubber nose to that because this is really a dumb idea. Uh, so the U.S. debt ceiling, what is it and, and what happens if Congress doesn't raise it? Actions by Senate Republicans could lead to uh, a, the U.S. defaulting on its effect on, on the debts. The effect would be catastrophic, according to Janet Yellen. So it's those evil, scary Republicans. Well, guess what? It's whatever uh, party is not in power, in power is always the evil one. Uh, it, 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 I've, we've seen this 78 times. It's just a replay from the, you know, this is a bad horror film being replayed over and over again because they're trying to scare you. Uh, and they use this, uh, you know, down here it says that a government spending freeze would reduce or eliminate uh, funding for vital programs, including food assistance for low-income uh, Americans, Medicare, and Social Security, and payouts for retired veterans. Well, I believe that they also close down the national parks, and there's a couple of things like that, but they don't like uh, close the IRS and send those employees home. They continue paying them. They don't close. I mean, why don't they stop paying the president and uh, Congress and, and start charging them instead? I mean, this is a great idea. <laughs> when they run into this debt ceiling, just charge them until they, they fix it. Uh, the, uh, the, the, this is crazy that this happens every year. They never shut down or take anything away from the military or the IRS or the Treasury or all of these other departments. They only close the ones that hurt the average American, the, the average person that's the voter. They scare that person and they're doing this to gain some leverage. Now, you know, we've got this enormous uh, spending bill coming, three and a half trillion dollars, which is actually five and a half trillion dollars. You have to uh, read between the, well, you don't even have to read between the lines. All you have to do is look at what's in the spending bill. But if you look further down in this article, you'll see that the actual cost is going to be about five and a half trillion over 10 years. Uh, so look at this thing. This enormous spending bill that's so big that none of these people, the people that are for it or against it, none of them have read it. The present president hasn't read it. 
The only people that have read sections of this bill are the lobbyists that wrote the bill that are going to get what they want out of this bill. So they wrote these sections of the bill. So the, the lobbyists that are, that are trying to get a certain thing out of this bill, they uh, know what's in that section they wrote. Nobody else knows what's in here. No one. Uh, so <clears throat> what is the, um, you know, how does this break down? They've got all of this great stuff that they're going to uh, spend on for us. They're going to buy us this. They're going to buy us that. We're going to get transportation, drinking water, electrical grid, broadband schools, uh, you know, all of these things, more Medicare stuff, uh, research and development investing, manufacturing, small businesses. You know, you've got 0.6, you've got 600 uh, billion here. So 0.6 trillion, 0.3 trillion, 0.3 trillion, 0.4 trillion, uh, 0.55, 0.56 trillion, we'll call it. Um, and then uh, they've got these uh, other expenditures, housing and infrastructure and, uh, and all of these other things. So there's these expenditures. How are they going to pay for it? They're going to pay for it through corporate tax increases. That's $2 trillion. And then they're eliminating uh, some tax breaks that you get on fossil fuels so that oil companies get and uh, clean energy tax increases. So they're going to increase your taxes here and here and they're going to eliminate some tax deductions here. And that comes to $2 trillion. The cost of the plan is $2.6 trillion, so you got 528 billion, half a trillion dollars is the deficit here. And so you look at this, this is the way they're going to pay for it. So they're trying to say the American Jobs Plan net cost, the cost <laughs> is 520, no, the cost is 2.6 trillion. Uh, if they raise corporate taxes, now, uh, corporations exist to make a profit. If they don't make a profit, they go out of business. The reason a corporation exists is to pro provide you a product or service that you want. And they have to sell it at, to you at the lowest price possible to gain market share if there's legal competition going on. But we've got this crony capitalism going on to where there isn't competition uh, always. And so you do get companies with outsized profits, but still, when they raise uh, the taxes on the corporations, the cost of the goods or services has to go up or the company will eventually go out of business. So it isn't the companies, these evil corporations that are trying to provide you products and services that pay for it. It's you that has to pay for it with the uh, higher cost of things. And then down here, we've got uh, the, all these other great things. They're going to do more education, uh, they're going to, there's going to be workers and families, economic uh, stuff. So we're getting all of this stuff, another 1.7 trillion. And how are we going to pay? For, how, how are they going to pay for it? Well, it's actually going to only cost us 270 billion because they're going to raise our taxes. Uh, and they're going to do all of this wonderful stuff where they make taxation more efficient or make the programs more efficient. So they've got tax administration. Uh, they've got uh, comprehensive financial accounting information reporting, and they've got oversight of the tax preparers. So uh, your CPA is going to have oversight. They're going to make sure that they do it right. There's going to be non-compliance provisions, meaning they're going to catch those people that are trying to cheat or not pay taxes. They say this every year. This is the 78th. They've done this 78 times before. This will be the 79th. It's nothing unusual. So this is not actually, the only thing that's going to happen, they will increase the taxes. So this part of the one and a half trillion there will happen. Uh, this, all of this won't. So this deficit will actually be um, uh, basically, it's going up. This will be about around a trillion dollars. So the grand total for this thing is 4.366 uh, trillion dollars and uh, they're saying that our net t cost the grand total is uh, 800 billion and that 800 billion is actually the deficit that's predicted but the deficit the, the real deficit that will happen will be about 1.8 uh, trillion and so uh, this is just a bunch of smoke and mirrors it has happened before 
uh, nothing to get excited about. They're going to try and scare you with this debt ceiling thing. Why? Because the debt ceiling is used by the party that is not in power as leverage. Because when the debt ceiling comes up, it's always about the same time that they're trying to pass some big spending bill or a budget. And so one party will claim this has a net price tag of zero. It doesn't cost us anything to spend this three and a half trillion dollars. Uh, and so make sure that you watch uh, why the debt ceiling is impossible. I'm Mike Maloney. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.